Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the GCP. Today we are going to learn about how to assign the static IP address or you can say about the elastic IP address to the VM machine. So basically what happened whenever we try to just start or restart the VM machine, what will happen? The external IP is going to be changed. Here, whatever the IP we have, external IP, it won't be changed whenever you start or restart or reboot your VM machine. So how to make it like adding a static external IP so that it never be changed. So we are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to go to the this three dot arrow. Here we have to go with our VPC network, then IP addresses. Okay. So here you can see we have option reserve external static IP address. Okay, because we need the external IP addresses. So here we am going to add the WordPress over here. Right, description, you can add whatever here. Okay. So premium current project plan that is would be changed and IPv4 regional, this one. And let's reserve this. So it automatically give you the external IP address, static. Okay, so here you can see that static IP address we have already assigned to it. Okay. And by default, if I go to my VM machine, VPC. So here we go with our compute engine, VM instances. So currently it's 53, right? So if I just start or restart the VM machine, then see what happen, what will happen. So here you can stop. Persistent disk, you will be built only for those preserved resources, persistent disk and static IP address. Stop. Then we will make a restart. So currently stopping the VM machine. Now you can see that the Linux instance is working and now you can see the same IP is not going to be changed here. If I go to my VM instance, now you can see the IP ad external IP address is the same here. You can see previously it was the same. Okay, now it's not going to be changed because we have already assigned the static IP address to them. Okay, so this is how you can assign the external IP address to the your VM instances. What we have to do, just go to the VM. Here we have to go just VPC network IP addresses. Okay, and here you need to reserve your external IP address to whom instance you want. Just add it and uh, it will going to use that instance. Okay, so this is how you can assign this one. Anyone? Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we are going to learn about how to map the domain. Once we have assigned the static IP address, now we are going to move this IP to the domain mapping. I have already purchased one of the domain. Let's see how we are going to map the domain and run our WordPress website to that domain. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.